Coming into 2021, the Dire Wolves carried over the squad from 2020, looking to make a stamp on the scene with a newly announced Valorant Oceania tour for the year. The road was set. The Direwall squad had a shaky year in competition with a bunch of top 8 finishes throughout the Oceania Tour qualifiers, but was able to qualify on points for the Oceania Championship to see who could represent the region in the last chance qualifier in North America. It feels pretty good that all the work we put in throughout the year with the rough like rosters and stuff like that and all paid off in the end I guess and we got the final shot so yeah, we're hoping to give it our all and see what we can do. Definitely been a lot more comfortable playing a lot of the top teams, I guess. Yeah, the only team we haven't really cracked against is like Order. We've been holding our own, if not like putting up some good results and screams, but yeah, sort of take that with a grain of salt. Yeah, we're definitely feeling comfortable. Yeah, we're definitely confident. Our structure, so Mo or Misty's calling and like sort of the rest of us just chipping in. Slow down these pushes, so Nidham's gonna take advantage oh positioning. My God. And that's what we've been waiting for. Nidham's doubled up. He's gone from two kills to four, or suddenly turned the tables and maybe a little bit more as well. Number three on the board now for Nidham. Floating across remaining. like a ballerina. And if they remain flawless here, Nidham with four. Payne's played this route very well so far. Bringing it back to the advantage, but the pace is going to pick up towards eight. Now, Wrath, what's he going to be able to connect with? Just on the other side of the toxic screen, surely hearing. Knows he's up nice and close, and he's got to get aggressive. Well timed, well found. And Wrath, the big brain, lands them on top. Second round for Direwolves. Lou's got the eyes on it, though. Headshot. Doesn't have a lot to play with on this round, but we'll try and slow things down with utility. Oh, that's good damage. How are all these classics working? And the Viper's bit been played into this as well. Touch okay, the Viper's bit has been quickly deleted as soon as it's been put down. This go as well will get another kill. To be fair with you, mate, it's two versus two in order. Had four classics and only one marshal and die wolves. They dropped three members here and they, I think, walked through with actual full rifles. The team had a tough first round matchup against Order, falling two to zero to match up against Legacy in the round one of the loser's bracket. The results did not fall our way as we fell zero to two and bailed out of the tournament in seventh slash eighth equal. That wraps up the year of Valorant for the Dire Wolves. We look forward in seeing what Riot has in store for Oceania Valorant. See you all in 2022.